Heavenly Father, we come before you now, asking you to forgive us of our sin. Forgive us, Lord, for being so independent. And we come before you asking you to forgive us of our offenses to you. We just want to seek you with all our heart, Lord, today. As we intercede on behalf of the body of Christ and on ourselves and our families, we just ask, Lord, that you would allow us to press into you and hear our cry of confession before you. Join me in worship of him. The more I seek you, the more I find you. Jehovah Shalom. Thank you, Jehovah Roi, our great shepherd. Thank you, Father, that you hear us when we confess our faults. Lord, you are so faithful to forgive. Lord, I want to sit. I want to sit at your feet. Drink from the cup in your hand. Lay back against you and breathe. Feel your heart beat. This love is so real, it's more than I can stand. I melt in your peace. 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 It's overwhelming. you, Father. The more I seek you, amen. Continuing into the spirit of prayer and praise, we continue as we seek the Lord with all our heart. The word of God says in 1 John chapter 1 verses 8 and 9, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sin and purify us from all unrighteousness. When we confess to the Lord, he hears us, and he will forgive. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you forgive us. The next prayer point that we'd like to pursue is... Be desperate for God. Desperate for God. Have you ever been so hungry that you just thought you were going to shake and you were going to pass out because you needed food so desperately? Do you know that our Heavenly Father wants us to be desperate like that for Him? He wants us to seek Him. Seek Him like we can't live not one moment more. And when we seek Him in desperation, He doesn't see us as just grab in five minutes here or two or three minutes there, but he sees that he's our life source. The next prayer point is to intentionally seek him in intercession for your marriage, protection over it, your family, and your children, and your church. We want to desperately seek him right now and ask the Lord to help us in our desperation to him. The word of God says in Psalm chapter 42, verses 1 until 4, it says, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for you, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. Why people say to me all day long, where is your God? 
These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. As the deer pants for water, my sisters in Christ, so we should seek after the Lord. Would you go with four people this time and seek them in prayer and in unity for your marriage, for your children, and for your church? Let's do that quickly. And when you hear me start the song and we come back, then we'll come together in unity and prayer. Father, we so desperately need you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we so desperately need you, Father. As you have brought water into our lives as the essence of who we are in the human sense, we ask that you bring the water of your Holy Spirit into our lives and into our families to refresh us, for we are desperate in need of your intervention into our homes into our marriages, into our churches, Father God. Lord, I pray that you give us a desperation for you. Give us a desperate hunger for you, Lord. Give us a desperate feel, Lord, but a deep understanding that your word will never change and that your promises are true, and that we can stand on your promises. And in our desperation, we can find solace and we can find satisfaction knowing, Father God, that you hear us and, Lord, that you answer us when we cry. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We continue in worship of your holy name, God, as we intercede and intervene on behalf of our families, our husbands, our children. Father God, I ask that you be with the priests of the house who are our husbands, that you cover them with your blood and with your power and your presence, and that you give them a special sense of anointing and purpose and position that has come from you. But that can't happen, Lord, unless you and I, Father God, are one, and unless you and I have a constant communication, and Lord, that you and I desperately are together, so that we can stand in the gap for our husbands and for our children. Stand in the gap for our pastors. Stand in the gap for our families and our communities. Help us, Lord, be desperate and passionate for you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you
worship you, Father, in the beauty of your wholeness, in the beauty of your sanctified holiness, Father God. And we trust you and are so desperate for you.